the correct solution. We're going to have time for a few more questions immediately after. We'll just take a second to set up for a photo here on the stage with all five participants. And then we're going to head outside for a photo op by the field. There's a, a welcome Argo sign up uh, in, <coughs> by the field side there. And we'll do scrums out there as well. Uh, Candid Frank, uh, fancaster, uh, means I'm a fan as much as I am a broadcaster. Uh, yes. The experience, I'll probably go back to Tim Lewicki again, uh, the experience of being uh, irritating to the opposition. Uh, that roof that you'll be putting on, uh, you've talked about it, and how helpful will that be in ensuring that Braley's team doesn't have a nice night? Um, yeah. my, my other team. Is that right? yeah. You see Lions. Well, part of the deal is David's agreed to lose all the games to the Argonauts, uh, so that was very kind of Vancouver. Um, ah. Certainly, whether it be the TFC and their fans, uh, and now certainly the Argos and the CFL, that roof is going to be something that is unique. It not only protects 100% uh, of the seats, but it also gives us now a noise uh, opportunity that is unlike probably anything in the CFL and maybe the best stadium in Major League Soccer. So, when again, when Bob Hunter and his team were designing this, we did pay a lot of attention. And, again, I'll say this to the TFC fans as well. Larry's correct. There are no compromises. We, we didn't have to chintz. We didn't ultimately have to make sacrifices on behalf of either of these two teams to make this work. The stadium is going to be one of the best stadiums in Major League Soccer. We've already proven that even before the roof comes. And if you look at the pitch today, that's what it will look like three years from now, five years from now. And this ownership group has put in literally tens of millions of dollars to make this stadium unique for the CFL and to make the stadium unique for MLS. Our fans for TFC and our new Argos fans are going to enjoy the greatest experiences in both leagues, and we can make that work here. Very similar to what we see with the Raptors and the Leafs. That's right. So, um, it's a unique situation here. It's Higher Wolf Pack signage. To, to visit if you're a visiting team. And uh, I think in particular for the Argo fans, uh, they're going to enjoy being outside but being protected from the weather. Randy Christinger, I was built for this. Oh, hi, Curtis Ruskin, Toronto Star. Uh, Three-part question a little bit. Um, do, you, do, you, do you envision making any structural changes to the personnel on the Argo team, number one? Number two, um, do you uh, anticipate, um, uh, how, do, how do you expect to handle the season, current season ticket holders for the new stadium? I mean, it's looking further ahead, but have you planned for that, and how will you handle the season ticket holders um, in the new stadium? You'll be covered. That's right. I think the, you know the real the real answer is today's the announcement of the ownership, and now we go forward with our new partnership and with our current owner and set up to make this the best fan experience going forward. And that means making sure we look after the current fans and all the new fans going forward. So all everyone will hear a lot more about that as we as we move forward with the ownership. You're all gonna love it. And David talked about this year we're going to. He'll be running the team, but we'll be working together to make sure the start of next season. As I said, the stadium will be full opening game next year, guaranteed in this city. Toronto wants to support the Argos, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mike Hogan from TSN Radio. Th there is a diehard group of Argo fans, but by CFL standards, there's not a lot of people going to the games right now. Argo lifers. How do you, change that? How do you get people to come to BMO? Wolfpack signage. This new stadium. Young guys like myself. Absolutely fabulous. So if you get a chance, and, and this Saturday we we're playing, uh, the TFC is playing here, just to experience a sporting event in this stadium is spectacular. So the Argos playing in this stadium will be absolutely, I mean, just as good. It'll, it'll be fabulous here. And I, I promise you that. Great experience. Yep. Conversion's not a it'll process. Be it'll be full every, every single game, my Argo game here. Last question. Conversion's not a problem, uh, man. Just for the commissioner, uh, Jeffrey, just to your right over here. Just this announcement, what does this do for the viability, sustainability, and the future of this franchise to be playing here? How critical was it to get this done? I think it's critical. Um, as I said before, Toronto is the biggest media market. It's also the biggest commercial market in Canada. So to have a viable team here um, with this kind of ownership group backing it is, I, I think the sky's the limit. But it was, it was clearly necessary for us to go forward. Um, to continue to uh, to support the rest of the league. Yes. And uh, I think the halo effect, as well as the 
uh, material effect of having a really strong Argos team in Toronto is, is really going to catapult us to that next level. It's a new era for the CFL. And I think this is certainly one of those seminal points that, that, that's a, a marker for it. Thank you. Most I'm definitely. Take a minute to set up for the photo here on the stage before we head out to the field. Any cameras that want to get ready for um, the photo op or scrums on the field can do so now. Thank you. The formal part of the news conference coming to an end here at BMO Field. Rod Smith and Dave Naylor back here. And for that's it for now, the folks. Confirming an ownership change the deal is done. Facility change as well for the now align the troops American, uh, pro sports, that being the complete Toronto the mission, eh? Who are Wolfpack the, uh, signage. Sky Dome, later to be called the Rogers Center from 1989 and through this season 2015. Thank you for but the memories. Closer to the footprint Onto the land, BMO where Field. Spent three decades from 1959 up to 1988 at CNE Stadium. Now, of course, BMO Field, not too far from there, Dave. We talked about this yesterday. I mean, this seemed the logical move.